Just getting our first chopper pictures now. Weather kept chopper from going up this morning, but we uh, we are getting video from Chopper Seven now of the accident. We had heard, Captain, and I know you just mentioned that you were talking to people. Um, can you tell me? Are you indeed going car to car and talking to each person, um, those who are doing okay, to find out what happened and to make sure that they're okay, kind of before they're allowed to say clear the scene or leave the scene with family members or whatnot? Right. We need to find out who uh, who's involved in the accident because to try to find this out at a later time would be nearly impossible. So we'll go car to car where obviously you triage the injuries, you get the serious injuries to the hospital and we can talk to those people later. Uh, but those are on the scene, we'll get their information, we'll try to get them uh, out of there. As you can see, I'm looking on the news and it's, uh, it's going to be quite a while before we can uh, clear up all those tractor trailers. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be an all day process to get this cleared up. Certainly, um, conditions at the time we're hearing were were you know snowy and the snow squall moving through. That's what you're hearing as well as the as the cause of this. Right, there was a, a huge snow squall that came through. Probably only lasted 15 to 20 seconds, but it oh. uh, pretty much took everybody's uh, sight away. And from there on, you have nothing uh, but uh, a, a collision or something from that point. 